God bless you all. God bless you all. Come on in. Welcome, welcome, welcome. This is your woman of God, Angela Hunt. And as promised, I am here with part two of our spirit spouse teaching and deliverance series. I hope you have been blessed by part one and you are anticipating this part two. This part two is loaded with contents, with intelligence, with knowledge on this topic. If you are new here and you haven't seen part one as yet, I will encourage you to go ahead and catch up on part one so that you can be fully edified on this topic. In part one, we touched on 14 important facts to know about spirit spouse and we touched on 15 signs to know if spirit spouse is in your life. So go ahead and catch up on that video. I'll be right back. Now you see this issue of spirits sleeping with human beings. It is not a new concept. It is not a new thing. Glory be to God. In Genesis 6, we can see where spirit entities, fallen beings called the sons of God, they came to earth and they slept with human women. They slept with the daughters of men and they gave birth to Nephilims. These were giants that were created from this union. So this concept of spirits wanting to sleep with earth beings is not a new concept. These spirits still continue to have sex with humans up to today. But the only difference is that they don't produce actual babies, but no spirit children. Genesis 6 verse 4. There were giants in the earth in those days and also after when the sons of God came in unto the daughters of men and they bear children to them. The same became mighty men which were of old men of renown. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. So I just wanted to give you a little background information on where the spirits lusting after human women came from. It started as early as in the book of Genesis. Before I go any deeper in the teaching today, I want to highlight some other important facts that I stumbled upon while I was going through my notes that I have collected over the years. My God, my God. The number one, spirit spouses are no respecter of persons. They attach themselves to anyone, irrespective of your race, your color your position whether you are married or unmarried your age whether you be an old woman old man a young baby an infant they are no respecter of persons number two they love beautiful women and attractive men for their spouses number three spirit spouses are very jealous possessive and they can even be abusive they will give you out to many men or to many women because it's sexual immorality they are immoral beings but they will deny you marriage because they don't want you to live holy before god and if you're already married they will torment your marriage they will torment your earthly husband and wife Number four, these marine spirits uh, will force married men to dump their wives and start bringing in strange women into their marriages. Number five, they do not give up easily and they put up a good fight. Number six, they plant seeds of perversion and confusion in one's life. Normally a person who is possessed or is a victim of spirit spouses, they are often confused. One minute they want to do one thing, one minute they're not sure if they want to do the other thing. They want to do this today, they want to do that tomorrow. They help to bring confusion. And why is this so? Because if they bring confusion where you don't know what you'd want to do, where you ought to go, then it's going to derail your destiny. Part of spirit spouse's main agenda is to derail your destiny. 
Number seven, they are the invisible forces behind divorces. Many times husbands and wives are attacking themselves, but ignorantly they do not know that there is an invisible power, a third power called spirit spouse who is causing all this conflict, chaos and confusion among them. This spirit spouse is trying to destroy this earthly marriage. So many divorces that you see are taking place now even in the churches. There is an invisible power called spirit spouse that is igniting the fire, that is pushing hatred, that is pushing conflicts, resentment and arguments among couples. Number eight, they cause long pregnancies. There are cases where women are pregnant for far more than nine months. They are pregnant for a year, two years even going on. This is the act of spirit spouse because spirit spouse does not want that victim to give birth to an earthly child. And hallelujah, praise God, spirit spouse is trying his best for that child not to come out in the world and he's trying to kill that child in the womb. So they cause long pregnancies also they cause phantom pregnancies have you ever heard or seen women who have big full grown bellies pregnancy bellies but they are not pregnant it is spirit spouse who cause them to have that big belly like they are pregnant walking around for years but they are not pregnant to bring shame and disgrace may god punish every spirit spouse may the wrath of god's judgment descend upon them number nine most persons who are victims of spirit spouses when they wake up in the morning they are drained and tired why is this so because you are living a completely different life in the spirit realm you have a spirit home with a spirit husband and a spirit children so during these night hours you're not really resting you're at your spiritual home my god my god and then when spirit spouse is not raping you you have your house and your children to manage you might find yourself in dreams up and down with spirit spouse shopping here going here going there you're so busy in the realm of the spirit with this nasty foul spirit that when you wake up in the natural you are so tired you are so drained you are so miserable and frustrated Number 10, spirit spouse is also behind the agenda that we see is becoming very prevalent today. It can make a woman a man and make a man a woman. Yes, there are homosexual spirits. Yes, there's a spirit of lesbianism, but spirit spouse also has their hands in this where they bring people to the point of confusion when they don't know if they're a man, if they're a woman, or the man want to be a woman. This whole transgender thing, spirit spouse also has a hand in it say why is this so remember that spirit spouse is a sex demon and sex demons are immoral they love immorality they love sexual perversion so if they can have a woman sleeping with a woman my god that is an abomination before our god if they can have a man sleeping another man that is also an abomination for God. What the marine kingdom loves to do is to go against the orders and principles of God. So they try to turn things around. God says a man should be married to a woman but spirit spouse along with the homosexuality spirits are saying it is okay for gender to be with gender. Hallelujah, praise God. So those were 10 more important facts that I thought that I will share with you. As I said, this topic is very wide and broad. But as time goes by, if I come upon other things or get other revelation, I'll just add them in as we go. Let us now discuss how does one feel after a spirit spouse attack. You see, spirit spouse attacks can be violent, terrible and awful. And it can greatly affect one when they wake up from such attacks or dreams. One can wake up having orgasms, feeling so violated, filthy and angry. Such an attack can ruin the dreamer's entire day if they don't pray well and exercise self-control. It can make you walk around the entire day feeling 
angry, miserable, and frustrated. If care is not taken, it can push one into sinning while angry. And remember, the Bible tells us that we ought not to sin while getting angry angry because it is an open door for the enemy to get a foothold into your life my god my god i have had many of these experiences i have suffered greatly at the hands of these nasty foul spirits over the years i would wake up feeling very sad and angry filthy and nasty there were times i cried out my eyes the entire morning because i felt like i was molested I was raped. I was held hostage and violated by a nasty demon. Sometimes while crying, I felt angry with God because I have been begging him over and over to deliver me from this thing. What made me felt even worse is the fact that I have been practicing celibacy then and I'm still practicing it now. But these nasty demons are molesting me without my consent. My God, my God, my God honestly my brother my sister there were times where I felt like I wanted to give up because this thing keeps happening over and over again I would fast I would pray to overcome and divorce spirit spouse I would successfully defeat them and be victorious but then a few weeks later or a few months later here comes another one my god my god here comes an even more aggressive one then I had to start contending and warfaring with this one again. My God, it was becoming tiring and it was wearing me out. All these things were happening to me while I was experiencing high-level witchcraft. It was evident that an evil altar, an evil priest or priestess keeps sending these nasty spirits to carry out their witchcraft agenda and plans over my life. My God, my God, I have suffered. Rebo Shilibi Kundus Kata. Being the warrior and fighter that I am, glory be to God, I am wise to fight I could not retreat neither could I surrender so I kept fasting I kept praying I kept hammering this thing in prayer day in day out midnight during the day I kept on researching because I know there must be something that I'm not tackling something that I'm not praying about that I need to know so that I can hammer it on its head my God my God through consistent fasting and prayers I started to experience experience victory dreams there is power in consistency there is power in fasting and prayer dealing with stubborn powers you have to keep on hitting them knocking them shooting them my god my god so i started to get some victory dreams i had dreams of victory where angels would come and stab this thing to death i had dreams of victory where i commanded this nasty spirit to pack it load and leave my my life and I saw it leaving I would have victory dreams where I sent Archangel Michael to go and retrieve that marriage contract or certificate and bring it to me and the angel would bring it to me and I would rip it up in front of the spirit spouse and said I hate you I divorce you leave now contract broken contract annul in Jesus name so my family if you're fighting this nasty stubborn abusive spirit i would encourage you to ramp up your efforts become stubborn too in the name of jesus become stubborn and determined that this power can no longer stay in your life neither can you stay legally married to this nasty foul entity it is not time to give up but it is time to step up your game you want to be stubborn then i'm gonna get more more stubborn so you hit me one time I'm gonna hit you two time when you hit me two time I'm gonna hit you three time Rabaka Sanda let them best man win
I'm going to share an incident to show you how powerful prayers can be. Whether or not you see it in the dreams, your prayers are working. One of the most victorious dreams I had on this topic was during a period when God was giving me revelations on the courts of heaven. Yes, there are courts in heaven. So there are courts in the natural. There are courts in heaven. I then started to take spirit spouse to the courts of heaven to find complaints against him and to get a divorce from him my god so one day after praying these courts of heaven prayers i had a dream where i saw a big black tall man laying in his underpants stretched out on my bed what a nasty foul spirit my god well laying out very comfortably like he belongs there i said what are you doing here my god my god the holy spirit knew exactly who he was I then pointed my finger of command and judgment and I said Satan I command you to pack your load and leave and never return immediately he got up off the bed and he started to walk away but he was looking back sadly I kept pointing my finger of command and judgment and I was pointing him to the door say so you have have to leave now this is non-negotiable in jesus name my god my god my petitions before the courts of the heaven rendered me a judgment in my favor that the spirit has to leave my life praise god now because i'm a transparent person and i don't believe god allowed me to suffer many things just for my sake i believe god allowed me to suffer many things so that i can help others because there are people out there who are suffering but they are not talking i'm gonna share one of the worst spirit spouse attacks i have ever had this one was horrific this attack wasn't in the dreams or internally this was externally this demon was either camping out in my room somewhere or he came when it was about time for me to go to bed to violate me physically my god my god i had to do a number of things to guard myself and to ward it off when it was time for me to sleep i would line up bibles all around me on the bed i would put one at my head one at my feet and one to each side at least four bibles were lined up against me and because i know how aggressive this spirit was i don't believe that was enough i then took one of my prior shawls and i used it to cover the lower area of my body covering my private area and my bottom i then took another prior shawl and i wrapped it around my bosom breast area trying to safeguard that area as well glory be to god i did not stop there the holy spirit led me to a 12 hour prayer in tongues audio on youtube i had it on my phone playing the whole time glory be to god i even went a little further to cover my entire self under the sheet so i am totally covered under the sheet with four bibles around me two prior shawls and a 12 hour praying in tongues video praying that is the only way i could get some sleep this power was still there very aggressively trying to pull off the sheet shaking the bed wanting to have have its way with me i had to do this for a few nights until god intervened and intercepted my god my god i had a dream where i found myself in a hidden location in an old abandoned house and i was locked up and caged in a room the house and the entire property was guarded by huge massive lions walking around curfew in the place so there's no way for me to get out if i even get out of the room or the house i could never pass these big massive lions my god my god so while i was in the room locked up the same audio of praying in tongues was playing very loudly a white man then appeared to me and he said is that a tongues audio you are listening to and i said yes he said come 
follow me and he led me out of the house and seen to all these massive guard lions i kept following him until i got to what looked like like a massive water slide and he told me to go on it and i went upon it and i slid down and i ended up in a completely different place that water slide was almost like a portal it took me to another place far away from where i was caged glory be to god god sent angelic assistance god sent angelic help to get me out of that place where spirit spouse has held me captive held me hostage held me as a sex slave and from i got that dream escape encounter i never had to sleep like that again my god my god i was free from the cage of spirit spouse so my family why am i sharing some of these experiences is to encourage you that if you're going through this the same god who delivered me time and time again will deliver you the same god who delivered you from the last one will deliver you from the next one your only job is to continue doing your part which is to fast to pray and walk holy before god holiness is necessary to be delivered from spirit spouse you can't be living any and any promiscuous and sinful life and expect spirit spouse to leave these are immoral sex demons when you commit these sins and have these things in your life this is like a magnet to them it pulls them in my god my god my god so wherever you are my family be encouraged god still delivers his people god still have his angels ready to deliver his people god is still in the deliverance business 10 ways in which spirit spouse can attach itself to one's life what are the open doors what causes spirit spouse to come to your life number one on the list is sex in the dreams as mentioned in part one of this series sex in the dreams is one of the most common ways to contact spirit spouses number two sexual immorality yes you heard me these sex demons can easily enter your life when you commit sexual sins sexual sins open the door freely for these nasty foul spirits to enter your life sexual sins such as fornication adultery pornography masturbation prostitution incest homosexuality lesbianism bestility all these types of sexual sins are major open doors for the enemy number three generationally spirit wives and spirit husband can be passed down from generation to generation meaning they can be inherited they are in the bloodline they attack themselves to the bloodline these spirits can enter your life from in the womb or from a very tender age many children are being molested by spirit spouses but because they do not understand and they do not share these dreams with their parents no matter how young you are spirit spouse will molest you praise God and sometimes you can look at the trend in your family and your bloodline when you look and you see that the women in the family they never get married or if they do get married everybody ends up divorcing you know that there is a spirit spouse in the bloodline and they are there to frustrate marriages they are there to cause no marriages or late marriages number four evil dedication persons can be dedicated to or married off to ancestors idol gods before they were even born into the earth or while they are still infants this occurs when someone goes to them and make a covenant on your behalf for example someone in your bloodline maybe one of your ancestors made a covenant with a marine idol god who is a spirit spouse to hand over all the unborn females in the bloodline in exchange for riches wealth fame etc ancestral idol gods are gods that our ancestors used to worship such as marine spirits serpentine spirits queen of the coast mommy water etc etc spirits spouse can come to your life through evil dedication they marry you off to a marine power without even you knowing 
number five witches and wizards one of the major ways in which spirit spouse enters one's life is through witchcraft manipulations by witches evil priests evil priestesses satanic agents love to work with spirit spouses satanic agents love to send spirit spouses to carry out their evil assignment this one diabolical spirit can create havoc in one's life hijack one's destiny and destroy every area of your life they love to assign and send a spirit spouse when a wicked person goes to a witch doctor on your behalf with the request to shut down your beautiful life to cause you not to get married or to destroy your marriage my god spirit spouse is the number one on the list that they will send and this is why many times after you have defeated and divorced one that altar that that witch or wizard is servicing they will send another one because they know when it comes back number six swimming in the river if a person has opened doors in their life, spirit spouses can enter a person's body by simply going to the river to swim. There are many marine spirits in the water ready to possess bodies as they enter. Number seven, social media slash Facebook spirit spouses can enter one's life through social media platforms including facebook we have to be very careful of what we are doing on these social media we have to be careful of some of the pages or channels that we are going to not every person on social media has a good heart not every person on social media is working or is serving the true king of king and the lord of lords in fact facebook i can speak specifically for facebook it might be among the other platforms but facebook is the number one platform for witches wizards and false prophets why is this so because facebook is the largest platform in my research it says that 2.8 billion not million 2.8 billion monthly active users on Facebook so, so there are many satanic agents scrolling up and down on social media going on different pages and platform looking for people my god my god with bright stars to attack them they might see your bright star and send a spirit spouse to you also remember gone were the days when people have to come to your house to steal your picture to take to an evil altar everything on people's life can be found easily on social media so that witch that wizard that enemy of progress who doesn't like you can simply just save your picture and take it to an evil altar now i'm not trying to instill fear in you just cover your pictures cover everything concerning your life and god will protect you but many times people get possessed by demons including spirit spouses through social media especially facebook and I can share an example with you. A few years ago in my local church, a deliverance minister was doing deliverance on a teenage girl. The teenage girl started to manifest and the, the demonic spirit confessed that it entered through Facebook. She went on a particular page and that demon entered her. Some of these pages are laced with demons, especially these false prophets. The moment you even click and go on the page, the demons are already there to enter tell you underwear manipulation where somebody could come in contact with your underwear underwear might have gone missing they take it to an evil alt and they do their incantations and your spells upon it and no a spirit spouse is attached to your life number nine it can be transferred spirit wives and spirit husbands can be transferred if you are using stuff that belongs to a person who is possessed by this spirit wearing people clothes using their personal things maybe like their roll on their lotion stuff like that and you might be saying woman of god why is this so because remember that everything that god has said for his people the dark kingdom follows it the scripture says that the two has become one so whatever their victim 
what him has oh my god also belongs to them and they have access to it so when you go and wear a person's clothes who is possessed by a spirit spouse that spirit spouse cannot come to your life because you're wearing his wife's clothes or his husband's clothes my god my god number 10 on the list soul ties this happens when the person who you had a soul tie with that man or woman that ex-boyfriend ex-wife ex-husband when they leave your life it results in your soul being fragmented now because your soul is fragmented spirit spouse can now take advantage of this and enter your life this is why many times spirit spouse will use the face of that person who you have a soul tie covenant with there are other ways but as i've told you earlier this topic cannot be exhausted even in a seven part teaching and deliverance series you have to be careful of tattoo and incisions you have to be careful of who you're eating from demons can enter through eating cursed foods you have to be careful of some of the gifts that you receive many of them have spells and curses so therefore demons are attached to them you have to be careful of some of the people who you hang out with and are associated with also enter through visiting witch doctors and false prophets people who are molested and abused this spirit can take advantage of that and also enter so there are many other little ways in which this spirit can enter your life what i've listed the top 10. let us now look at the ways in which spirit spouse can alter your appearance in the realm of the spirit spirit spouses because they are so possessive and they love to show ownership they will alter your appearance in the realm of the spirit they will alter your appearance from your crown of your head to the sole of your feet they will put an evil crown upon your head they might even put an evil wig on your face they might put an evil veil or mask to cover your beauty and your glory so that that earthly man that you're supposed to marry to or that earthly wife will not see you they might even put things in your eyes in the spirit to block your spiritual eyes now because these evil spirits have legal rights to your life through evil spiritual marriages they, they can adorn you how they want put whatever clothes they want on you they can put whatever branding and labeling upon you as far as they concern you are their wife and their husband you belong to them and they own you spirit spouses love to decorate their victims and they love to give them gifts these gifts give them even more legal grounds to your life and your body number two jewelry spirit spouses love to adorn their victims in jewelry like necklaces chains rings bangles bracelets watches etc Number three, clothes, evil garments, leggings, shoes, underwear. Also because some of these spirit spouses are principality powers, they have royalty status in their kingdom. So they will dress their wives or husbands as royalty, as a goddess, as a princess, as a queen, as a prince, etc number four markings and labelings they have placed invisible marks upon you that you may not be able to see with your natural eyes it could be a tattoo a branding a labeling there's something on you a mark or a label that says that you belong to me and you are my property so now that i've shared how they can alter your appearance in the spirit so when we are doing the deliverance you have to remove these garments you have to remove these decorations you have to remove these tattoos this takes me to my next area why are spirit spouses so hard to get rid of one of the main reasons why spirit spouse is so hard to get rid of is because it is strategic and it has strategically planted things practically in everywhere of your life internally your body now they have planted things in your body through continuous sex in the dream and eating in the dream so they have stuff in your body externally your body in the spirit is decorated and dressed with things that they gave to you number three they have things planted even in your home even in your bedroom on your bed even in your vehicle this give them full access to come and go as they please they still have things in your place think about it in the natural when you have broken up with a man or a woman and oh my god if they still have things in your place then they will have reason to come back there but if you pack up everything and throw it out then 
when they have nothing there therefore they have no reason to come back now spirit spouse is very strategic this is why they have things planted in you everywhere in your house in your bedroom on your bed under your bed in your car number four the marriage contract is still in place if you don't properly divorce this spirit this spirit is still legally married to you in the spirit but five you have spirit children for them this spirit children is keeping you connected to them number six you have stuff that belongs to them as i've told you before that spirit spouse love to give gifts they will come and give you money and clothes and underwear perfume expensive jewelry in the dreams so you have all these things in your body externally in your home that is connecting you to them this is why it's hard to get rid of my god my god these even nasty spirits they are very strategic and they have strategically planted themselves in almost every area of your life people of god i just want to encourage you with all this intelligence and information you will know how to pray you will know how to pray targeted prayers to destroy the various areas in which spirit spouse has planted itself in your life Hallelujah. Let us now look at the steps to divorce and overcome spirit spouses. Step one, you have to repent and give your life to Jesus Christ. There is no way you can fight and overcome these stubborn, violent, possessive, diabolical spirits if you are not in Christ. Number two, confess and repent of all your sins. Sins that you have committed personally and sins that your ancestors have committed. Number three, Three, you're gonna break every soul tie covenant and soul tie covenants with spirit spouses number four you have to live holy be he holy because God is holy that's first Peter 1 verse 16 you have to flee from all sins especially sexual sins remember sins are open doors for the enemy to gain or regain access to your life and especially how you're dealing with sex demons you have to stay away from sexual sin you have to stop fornicating you have to stop masturbating you have to stop watching pornography you have to stop lusting and all these other sexual sins Number five, start praying acidic prayers to destroy the evil marriage certificate, to destroy the wedding ring, to destroy the wedding garments, the evil gifts, the spirit children, everything that's connecting you to spirit spouse. We have to pray acidic warfare prayers to rebuke and destroy them out of our lives. Fasting is very important. You might have to add some days of fasting to add more accelerant and firepower to your prayers. Number seven, you have to use the word of God. Remember the word of God is quick, powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword. We need this, the sword of God, the sword of the spirit to chop off the head of this serpent. Number eight, pray recovery prayers to recover what spirit spouse has stolen from you. Number nine, do some holy communion to rededicate your life and to remarry yourself to the covenant keeping God of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob. Number 10, if you keep fasting and praying and nothing is shifting, then you might have to go for deliverance. Find a genuine man or woman of God to bring you through deliverance. These are some steps for you to use to overcome and divorce spirit spouses. My family, there are so much other things that I could touch on this topic. My God, my God, this topic is so wide. I trust that you have been blessed by the content that is shared in video one and video two. Start putting it to you. Start praying in that direction. In this series, we still have five more parts to come. We're going to start to get into some renunciation prayers, deliverance prayers, using the word of God and warfare prayers. My family, go 
go ahead please like this video i need a minimum of 100 likes for this video like this video so that other persons can be blessed by it like this video so that youtube can shoot out this video to more persons across the globe so that they can come and get the intelligence and how to be delivered from the spirit that is affecting seven out of ten christians my god my god my god my family like share and if you have not yet subscribed go ahead subscribe and turn on the post notification bell until next time see you in the next video be blessed